Hey family, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video for your hobby or your career goals. As an educator who likes to refer to himself as a sharer, my goal is to give my way to success. I'm gonna give my way to success. And if you know me, you know that my two life mantras are what I know, you know. My goal is to have one impact. If I can help someone, my living is not in vain. So I've decided to base the entire educational side of my brand purely on a donation system. Yes, a donation system. And as a person who loves to share, I never want to have to make teaser videos where I give away some of the information in order to sell the rest of the information just to try to make a living like this. Okay, so let's take it from the top and put it all together. So we've got... And so for that last chord, you want to check out the full tutorial on my site for only 1995. <laughs> Seriously. So to cater to the type of person that I am, I'd rather just give all the information away and base the entire system on a donation. This way I can focus on just pouring out the information to you with no hesitation. So here's how it works. To help me to sustain the process of making these videos, which requires hours of production, recording, and editing time, and to help me to sustain my living while doing it, I'm asking that you make a donation every, say, three to five videos or every video if you like in one of a couple ways. Now the one that would mean the most to me is probably the easiest for you to do. And that is to donate 99 cents. Yes, 99 cents for each video where you learn something new or where it helps you in your process. The way that you can do that is by downloading one of my songs from one of my two sites, either my personal site with my original music or my performance track site that features hundreds and hundreds of instrumentals and backing tracks. This way is something easy to afford and I get a chance to have a home in your music library. The other options are via my Patreon account, or by PayPal or Cash App. And you can donate as little or as much as you want, as often as you want. Again, I know it might seem crazy, but I'm convinced that for me, this is the way to go because of the fact that I'm releasing and will continue to release daily videos, giving away as much information as possible, education, expertise, or just crazy ideas for what they're worth. And if not, at least share the video with as many people as possible to spread the information. That would help my overall goal as well. So again, thanks so much for watching the video. Subscribe and hit the notifications button so you can make sure you see the daily videos that I release. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, welcome back. This is another pocket piano tutorial, and I'm super excited about this. I love all the music that I do, but in the last, mm, it's been a while now, to be honest. It's probably been since... 24 uh, I'll say 2012 that I was introduced to uh, Gretchen Palato's music by my best friend and bass player of my group the fruition experience you should check out some of the videos on my channel and just google fruition experience if you get a chance um, but it became some of my favorite music and so I'm excited to do a little quick tutorial for one of the songs that my group has been playing for several years now is a song called how we love by Gretchen Parlato. And, um, the way that I'm going to do this, this is for intermediate to advanced players, beginners. You can pick up as well. Cause I do some basic voicings. If you slow down the video and, or grab the MIDI file, you can study very slowly what I'm doing, but, uh, to give everybody else a reference uh, for intermediate and advanced, I will go through the song, uh, three times, as far as the form, because uh, the song is done where Gretchen sings the lead first and then there's a piano solo and then Gretchen comes back again and sings the head down again. I'm going to make it progressively um, more advanced each time and I'm just going to have fun and just kind of give you a lot to work with. So here's Gretchen Parlato how we love and if you want to grab the sheet music or the chart i made a little iril b chart um or iril pro they call it now if you want to grab the chart just check that link out in the description 
and you can also grab the MIDI file of everything that I'm playing here also with the link in the description. it again in fact I forgot to do my one two three four hey guys welcome back to pocket piano tutorials on this channel and I'm super excited about this song that I'm about to do I love all the music that I do but I was introduced to the music of Gretchen Parlato in about 2012 by my bass player and best friend in my group, The Fruition Experience. If you haven't heard the group out yet, check it out on my channel or just Google Fruition Experience. But uh, he kind of withheld it for a while because he knew that once I listened to her song on YouTube, I was going to or her music on YouTube, I was going to come back to him with like all of the music and he just got started with it so he kind of held off for a while until he got familiar and then I needless to say I fell in love with Gretchen's voice her music um is just amazing so my band has been covering some of her tunes live uh for about seven years now and I'm excited to do the first of a number of tutorials for her music so this song is called How We Love I'm going to play the form of the song three times through because she sings it through the first time and then there's a piano solo and then after that there is uh the melody again and each time i'm going to get progressively advanced so this tutorial is for intermediate to advanced players if you're a beginner you can also grab a lot from this tutorial all you have to do is slow down the video by hitting the little gear icon if you're on desktop and if you're on mobile, hitting the little three dots at the top right hand of the screen to slow the video down. And also, the second thing you can do is to grab the MIDI file by looking at the link in the description. Also, if you want the chart for this as well, I did a little chart in iReal Pro. So you can grab that by checking out the link in the description as well. So I hope you enjoy. I'm just going to kind of give a grab bag of information. Uh, one step at a time, intermediate to an advance, and I hope you learned something from it. Thanks so much for watching.
Okay, so I should take maybe a few seconds just to explain a couple things. Um, so I did some improvisation at the end. Of course, during the piano solo, I would normally take a solo, but I wanted to just kind of continue with the chords to support the solo. Because when you're learning this, it could be a bit of a challenge just moving through the form. So I wanted to kind of take those three choruses and just stay there. And so I didn't start stretching out until after the last chorus. But um, I'm just going to pick a couple spots to explain a few things. So this is from the from the beginning. So. Uh, I'm just going to play up until a certain point. One, two, three, melody. two there and then I want to show uh, this part after the so it's like a triplet it's a triple let boom so it's um, let's go from and you will decide to change so it's triple let trip that's the, the time in there so again that's so uh, let me back it over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and then triple it. Now, you could, what I'll try to do is, um, maybe I'll just verbalize the, uh, a click just for a second, just so you can hear it over the click. I'll just play it. And maybe it's easier just hearing it against four. So one, two, two. That's how we do it over that four. The rest is pretty self explanatory. just the bass player changes the the bass note the chords stay the same it's just that the bass note changes and then after that he stays on the root so from there he goes sorry about that I like that little hit there. Um, so they do. Uh, I don't know whose idea was this. Uh, maybe Ken, maybe um, uh, Kendrick Scott, the drummer, because this was a nice little touch. Um, one, two, three, four. E. They did. They do like a a little hit on the E, like four E and uh, four E, and uh, they do a hit on the four E, and um, it's doing the end. Uh, in, fact, in fact, they do it here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E, one, two, three, four. Two, three. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and two, three, four. E, and a one, and a. So 
instead of doing a little hit there for E and a. And the thing I like to do is really live when, when my band is playing this live. They only do it one time in the recording, and we like to repeat it, you know, with the same, um, like every eight bars. something that you want to do it's something that we do a lot and um yeah so i hope that was helpful don't forget uh you can grab the midi file to learn anything that i played anything that's of value to you grab the midi file from the description you can also grab um, a little chord chart that i made for this song um and yeah that's about it so i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video take care <laughs>